Did today shake any concerns you guys have with Eckler's usage in this offense? Jay, we'll start with you. No, because this is kind of what you expect from Austin Eckler. Um, I Full disclosure, I don't have many shares of him this season because I felt like he was being drafted at his ceiling. I think, yes, this is an explosive offense, but these are the type of games that you love to see from Austin Eckler, but there's been some usage concerns. You know, he hasn't been used as much in the red zone. Um, I think he's definitely locked in as an RB1, but you're going to have these boom days and you're going to have those bust days as well. So um, I pretty much feel the exact same way that I did. Uh, it's definitely nice to see uh, outside of me facing Austin Eckler in like three or four leagues. Um, but this is pretty much what you've come to expect, why he was an early round draft pick. Absolutely. Absolutely. Jay, what do you think? Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, Austin Eckler, I have been concerned. You know, the usage hasn't been there. He's talking before we come into the season, like, you know, that he knows that he needs to cut back on his workload if he wants his career to last long, which is great. I, you know, he should, he should care about himself, but all those are red flags for fantasy gamers, right? Like that's worrisome. <laughs> uh, 13 carries, 60 yards, two rushing touchdowns, six receptions, 49 receiving yards and a touchdown. That right there is as Simon and I like to say, vintage Austin Eckler. Absolutely. So, absolutely. I, yeah, I, I think that we are going to see a little bit less of that throughout the, the season. I'm just expecting that now because we saw three weeks of not this. Um, but it's encouraging to see. I'm happy that Austin Eckler, hopefully you didn't sell too low on Austin Eckler, right? This is why we say don't sell low or don't sell your, your t highly drafted players, your superstars. Don't go and just trade them when you're panicking week two because they haven't performed. This is why. Because – you know there's a bunch of fantasy managers out there who are like, no, oh, I shouldn't have traded Austin Eckler for Daryl Williams in week two. Now look what happened. 